Hi, eighth grade. We're going to go over level C, unit four today. It's going to be quick, easy. You need your vocab book, writing utensil, and a highlighter. Let's get started. If you ever need to pause, because I'm going too fast, you can. And also there's going to be a picture of all of these so you can see it a little bit clearer. But I do suggest you listen to this because um, the explanations will help the definitions stick in your brain. So let's go. If you annul, that is a verb, you um, say something is not effective, you void it, you cancel it. So if you annul your marriage, you cancel it. If you, um, you can invalidate, nullify. Next one, blase. Um, if you are indifferent or you just don't care, you're bored. It's just like, meh. Whatever, um, that is blase. So like whatever attitude, you don't care. Next one is bolster. If you bolster, it's both a noun and a verb. That's important to note. So I'm gonna circle the B for verb and the N for noun. Um, a bolster is something that supports. So if you bolster somebody, you support them. Um, so your comments might bolster uh, their self-esteem, like support who they are. Um, and then it's also a long pillow or supporting post, which makes sense because if you have a pillow behind your back, it is supportive. So we're gonna write support slash pillow. And I know that's a little bit um, blurry and it's a little laggy too. So um, remember, you can always go back and look. Deplore, it means you have, um, you express or you feel disapproval or um, regret. So the example is social critics deplore what they believe is widespread decline in good manners. Um, <laughs> the, uh, I might deplore your um, poor, deplore your uh, poor manners in the cafeteria, when you go to the cafeteria. So you express disapproval, you disapprove. If something is frivolous, it's not important, not meant seriously, it's silly, it's foolish, it's petty, it is not important. Not important. And finally, for this page, muster has, is both a verb oops, and a noun. Um, if you muster something, you like are bringing it all together, you're like summoning all the courage um, that you have, you're bringing it together, you're gathering, summering, um, kind of like culminating all together. And then finally, a muster, the noun version, is a list of military personnel, so like a list of everybody who's in the military or in your um, barracks or in your platoon or whatever, um, or it's like a whole bunch of something. So I would say gather is probably gather or a group, which makes sense because a group gathers together. All right, our next page. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, at the top of this page, we have some synonyms for muster, um, like mobilize, you, you bring it together, or it can be like a roster or a list of what's included, like our, the muster for our class, for, for your eighth grade class has all the students in it. Okay, next one, non-entity, non-entity. It is somebody who is not important. It's a nobody. We're going to write that. So it might be kind of rude to call somebody a non entity. Um, our example is we not, may not be movie stars, but we did not deserve to be treated as non entities by the presumptuous and haughty head waiter. So it's like somebody who is not important at all. We're all important. So we're, none of us are non entities. Oh, we should know what this one is. Obsessed. Why are you so obsessed with me? What's the TikTok? I don't know. I'm not. You're probably laughing. Whatever. Um, it means you are, it fills your mind. 
you're, you're constantly thinking about it. Uh, it might trouble you. Maybe you're worried about it. There's a lot of different synonyms you could use. But the one I think we're going to use, oh, my thing is paused, would be, maybe, there we go. Um, <laughs> the one we're going to do is preoccupy, because it is, that's all your mind is occupied with. It's also our synonym at the bottom, so if you can't see to spell it because it's blurry, you can always zoom in there. Next, we have ornate. Um, it's really elaborately, elaborately decorated, or it's fancy, flashy. Uh, I always think of ornaments, and they make your Christmas tree flashier and fancier. Um, we're gonna write flashy. If you oust somebody, you remove them. You kick them out. Kick out. If you peruse, you kind of study, you read through it, you do more than scan, you kind of just like really take it in. Um, I'm gonna write read carefully. For example, when we looked at our Edgar Allan Poe information, case file information. Um, you had to peruse it for the specific uh, answers to the questions about his life. Porous, this always makes me think of SpongeBob because absorbent and yellow and porous is he, which means he is full of tiny holes. He's holy. We're gonna smell like that. Holy, not holy as in like, because SpongeBob's not holy. <laughs> uh, last one for this page is promontory. It is a high piece of land that's next to water, um, like a cliff would be the best way to think about it. A cliff, and it is a noun. Turn the page for the last page, and hopefully you're. Vocab book isn't upside down, nor is your screen falling everywhere. Sorry, technical difficulties. Let's see, if you are prone or something is prone, it is lying face down or it is likely to happen. It should happen. I am prone to dropping things. It is likely that I'm gonna drop things. Or you're lying down. Uh, usually, I guess is what we can write, usually. If you have a qualm, you have like a second thought, you have a an uneasiness, you have kind of like a, a problem, um, you're not quite sure, something's not quite right. Um, I'm gonna write not quite right over here. So I don't have any qualms about you uh, fast forwarding through this video if you think you know the definition of the word. Um, or do I? Next one is recourse. It is like the, how you help, like you're looking for help or protection. Uh, it's who you would go for, go to for advice. Um, yeah. It is like an alternative or a, oh, I lost my thing, or an option for advice. Okay. The next one is residue. It's like something that's left behind. You ever wash a dish and then there's like a really nasty residue of food that you didn't quite get off? Kind of gross. Um, something that remains, a remainder. 
All right, three names. Next one is solicitous. Having a lot of technical difficulties today, guys, and I apologize. Okay, here we go. So remains, I highlighted remainder and remains, and I wrote remains. Last three, solicitous. It's an adjective. It, it, you show concern or care. You are concerned. You are anxious about something or someone. You are concerned. How many times can I say the word concern? If something or somebody is stayed, they are serious and dignified. They are calm, calm, calm cool, collected. And finally, the next, the last one is sustain. It um, withstands, it continues, it supports. Uh, food sustains your body, it nourishes you, it helps you st uh, keep up and keep what you're doing. So we're going to say support. All right, those are all of our vocab words. Um, if you have any questions, you can always ask uh, me or Mrs. Hammonds about the vocab. And the photos of these notes will be on Google Classroom as well.